Uh, I have 10 more minutes to class starts and I'm like, I just parked my car, I'm just walking to uni right now. Um, I park at the uh, two hour time slot, I don't usually, and my class goes for three hours. I usually park at the two hour spot, but I think it needed to be done because I'm like low key late. Uh, I kind of got carried away, uh, I kind of slept in a little bit. I got carried away with um, breakfast, completely lost track of time. I'm like, oh my god, I need to get ready. It's like, oh. okay, well, here we go. <laughs> this wind is intense today, man. It is absolutely intense. Everything's all flying off. I cannot walk. Here, here this wind. What the heck? Damn, that was a freaking rush and a bit to get into class. Um, like I said before, the wind was just like insane, man. But now look, there's like barely any wind and it is freaking warm. Dude, I'm like low-key sweating underneath my jumper. But yo, got my photography uh, installation back. And uh, yeah, yeah, oh my god. This morning was just like a low-key rush and it was cold, now it's fucking hot. <laughs> Alrighty, here's hoping that I didn't, I didn't get any fine for my parking spot because I've been at uni for like 30 hours an hour and like I said, it only specified that it's a two hour parking spot which is a ridiculous rule, like don't even get me started up in parking at uni. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we good, we good, that's nothing. There is nothing. Thank you. <laughs> because I was low-key rushing to class earlier today, I didn't have time to pack um, some snacks with me, like during the lecture or like during the tutorial classes and stuff. So what I got is a packet of marshmallows. It's nearly finished. I was just like munching on it during the lecture. I'm just like, bro, I need, I need something because I'm getting hungry now. So yeah. My best bet is uh, the marshmallows <laughs> as well. The wind is starting to pick up as I just got back home and I went out of the car and the wind was just like blowing all over my face. I was just like, what? This is weird. Like, oh, this, honestly, this like season, what, what season is it now? I think it's still winter. Hey, it's not spring yet because I think spring starts in September. All right, as you all know, uh, Amine's new album, I guess, or... Do, do I call it an album or maybe a mixtape? Maybe it's a mixtape. Uh, it's like a mixtape album kind of stuff. Um, I haven't listened to it yet, so let's document my first impression of the uh, mixtape. So here is the first song. It's called Doctor Whoever. Right? Here we go. Sad on your motherfucking Bitch, what the fuck? Ricky Thompson. Yes! Ricky Thompson, oh my god, he is, Next, he's in it, me, he's in it. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is cool. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm loving it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was that beat was insane. That was actually good. That that transition into like when the beat drops and shit like that when the bass comes in. I'm I'm already loving the first song, especially because Ricky Thompson starts off with it. Alright, here's the uh, next one, Num number two. It's called Hiccup featuring Gunner. Alright. Uh, well, number two, still a fan. It's just like a little bit mellowed down, like still the heavy bass 
it's still there, but it's uh, mellowed down a little bit. It just reminds me of like you just chilling with your friends on a summer night, just like biking, biking around the neighborhood, kind of like a Stranger Things kind of vibe with like the whole company. All right, here's number three. Reel it in. Ooh. Straight up. I like the strings. What's that? What's that instrument? Is that a guitar or a ukulele? I don't know. That's cool. Alright, put it back in. Alright, uh, here's number four. It's called Blackjack. I really like how I think in like the 12 seconds he says Adam's got a new drip which is him because Mine's real name is Adam he's got Adam got a new drip so he's like yo I got my new shit on you know alright thanks for listening <laughs> on to the next one number five it's called Why Ooh. That's cool. Ooh. Moving on to number six, Shine. Ooh. The guitar's in there. Yo. Yeah. This is cool, man. This is cool. I love that line. I fuck up on a Sunday when I pull up in Chick Fil A. Dude, that shit is cool. I guess because to me personally, I feel like that Chick Fil A resemblance is like a church to him. I guess for him, because on a Sunday people usually go to church on Sundays, right? But he changed it into Chick Fil A, so that's like mad cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. All right, number seven, Chingy. Chingy, that's a weird, that's a weird yeah. name. That's a weird name, but let's listen to it, man. Straight up heavy bass. All right, that's cool. Chingy is pretty cool. The heavy bass in it just overtakes everything. So, yeah. Moving on to number eight, Dapper Dan featuring G Herbo. I like that little. I love that shit. That's cool. All right, moving on to number nine, Cantu. I think I think I pronounced. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I got my head hanging out the fucking window. I got my head hanging out the fucking window. Right. I keep my speakers ringing on me like my cell phone. Let my hair down. Ooh. Yeah. Bitch, I let my hair down. Ooh. Yeah. I got them dreads swinging around. My niggas catch the mood out like a relay. I'm in it. Three more songs to go. Here's number 10. It's called Sugar Parents featuring Rico Nasty. That like kind of sound effect that is kind of like a like a cash register kind of thing like ding. That's cool. Wow, I never. never th that's smart. <laughs> that line when he says that. I could be your sugar daddy, but I'd rather not. <laughs> yes, that's funny. All right, moving on to number eleven. Shut the fuck up. Two. Before you talk that shit about me, how about you clear your throat? Another Ricky Thompson, bruh. Every time your dumb ass talk shit about me. Ooh. Like I said, be just a piece of shit. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Shut yeah. Two million in my head, two million for a jam, and four million in the game. I really like that heavy bass. That's just, I guess, my first impression of this, like the 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 whole heavy bass in it. I mean, I've I've got two more songs to go, but so far that this mixtape, it's more concentrated on like the heavy bass kind of stuff. 
and I love it. I fuck with it, man. All right, moving on to number twelve. Ratchet Satan Girl. Yeah. The name says it all, man. Yeah. I like my ratchet. I like Ooh. my bitch fat. I like a freaky little mama who won't throw it back. I like a 40 inch. That line, I like that 40 inch nail and that weave too. Damn, okay. It's very vivid, man. Ain't got a man fuck with me, boo. Let's get it. Whoa. Alright, moving on to the last track, number 13 is called Together. Let's go, let's hear it. Ooh. That's cool. It's cool that it's kind of like that voice, like the singer. Sometimes I'm just too honest, admitting that it's common. I know so he can sweetle D in the wedding. But if this don't work out, I might have to go and work out. Thanks, up to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, yo, that, okay, so that is my first impression of 1.5 from Amine, his new mixtape. Alright, man, it's, it's actually cool. I really, really dig the album. First impression. Obviously, it's uh, I think m the more I listen to it, and then I'm like, oh shit, okay. But your first impression, it's like, it's amazing. I like it. I really, really like it. Mine did not disappoint at all. Uh, go and bump it, man, for real. It's actually amazing. It's just as good as his Good For You album. But yeah, this is obviously it's like it's it's different, and I think oh shit, what what song is it that? That says Adam has a has a new drip, so he's, he's got his like different sound coming in and stuff like that, and he's got this like new style of it, and I think that he does it really well with his uh, 1.5 album, and there's more like heavier bass in it as well. I can honestly just already imagine that like if he performs his new stuff at a concert, it's gonna go off like that like freaking mosh pit everywhere. I can I can imagine it, man. So, yeah, I really, yeah, good job, I mean, eh? First impression, I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10. Yes, that's that's how high I'm giving it. So, yo, bump it, please do. Alrighty, so tomorrow I have a, well, tomorrow after work, I have a little photo shoot going on with one of my friends. His name is John. He's a rapper. Um, I'll link his stuff on the description down below, so do check him out, he's got great beats and, and he's got good flow as well. So, you know, flow is like really important um, in, in, in rapping, you know what I mean. So, yeah, he's, he, his music is, he's, is good, so I'm gonna put like the description down below and shit. So yeah, I'm having a little photo show with him. Um, John, if you're watching, thank you so much for agreeing to it and um, trusting me with the photography stuff so I'm gonna be shooting on my film camera which you know obviously it's gonna take quite some time to see the results and stuff like that so yeah hopefully he's cool with it and I just want to go with like the film aesthetic and everything too so yeah I'm super excited to get back into film and uh, yeah I just want to go out there and, and, and produce good work and just try to I guess make myself knowable and share my work with um, others, you know, especially through social media and stuff like that. So yeah, I wish I can go out and shoot like every day But yeah, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Anyway, yo, thank you for watching this video I do appreciate it. You're showing some love and everything Catch you all soon. Peace